Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Dem Plays RimWorld. Now, in our last episode, we actually got a lot of sweet loot, which is nice. And now our colonists are all dressed up and ready to go. And just as we were leaving, then we found one of those nifty poison ships. Now, this is um, a ship, that, uh, ship part that dropped from the space. And in a circle around it, we'll start to poison the ground, kill all the vegetation, and at some point, if we let it go, <laughs> let it go, anyway, <laughs> uh, they will actually kill our people, which is not something we want. However, uh, ships like that tend, well, actually, they have uh, robots inside, and a lot of them, and they're quite scary. As such, we will move our great um, sentry here, which we cannot put here. All right. uh, this sucks. Kind of wanted to. Yeah, that's going to be good. All right. And Claudia, you know, I, I like that you're sewing, but of course she's not. Ready, uh, construct. Just you know, if there is absolutely nothing else. To do. Right, and everybody else, we will draft and bring around here. Now the problem is, it's kind of a deserted area, which means that there's not much cover to go around. We could build some. But I don't think it's going to be necessary. I'm going to want Valdez to be as close as possible. I'm going to want Jessie to be as far as possible. So she will man the gun. Fire them will be here. And Luna. Luna will actually take Valdez's place. And Valdez will be here. Yeah, he's got the range. Luna has... Yeah, she'll be good. Um, trees are not the best place to hide between, uh, hide behind. But, you know, it, it, it'll do for now. And Valdez will be the one in the most perilous position. So, he, we're going to attack them. Oh, that's good. It's not that much. And actually, Luna cannot see the enemy. We have to kill this guy first. Alright, alright, he's dead. So, fire them. Go here. Oh, wait, did he? Ooh, well, that, that went a lot easier than I thought it would. Alright. Well, this is what happens, I guess, when you play on uh, with a lot less wealth than you usually do when the first poison ship arrives. What is this, though? It's a gun drone. I didn't even know we could do that. That's awesome. I'm going to try and uh, create one of those eventually. All right, but now we're not done. We need to destroy the poison ship, but no more... Um, no more... Uh, centipedes or uh, robots will come out of it. And we'll get a bunch of resources in exchange for that. That's awesome. Alright. And Valdez is the only one that got hurt. And he's... Yeah, you know, it's... It's trivial. So we don't even want to give him actual medicine. Alright, so everybody is undrafted. Jessie's gonna eat right now because she's hungry. Luna will go back to hauling. No, haul this instead. And fire them will go to prioritize the robot's destructions. Alright, well, this went actually a lot better than I thought it would. What do you mean a lot? <laughs> Uh, usually there are like three centipedes and five ciders, but that's what happens when you wait on the uh, wealth department. 
And what I'm gonna do is actually cancel the order on the hauling because they're gonna do that first because it's closer to the base. Ooh, cargo pods. You know, they're, the game is thanking us for taking the risk of destroying the robots and they gave us chocolate, which is nice. Uh, chocolate replaces food for people and it gives them joy. Jesse is butchering. What is you butchering? Oh shit! <laughs> um, a ram probably got attacked by this wolf, I guess, and died. Oh shit! There's another one here. Gotta be careful with the wolves. Are they hungry? No. And no. all right, so she she won't be attacked. I hope. She's got a good gun, but it's not that I don't want to risk it, you know. And once he's woken up, fire them will um, finish those walls. It doesn't really matter right now because um, those two rooms can be adjacent. Doesn't matter. Valdez has been healed. All right. He's not consuming the chocolate, he will be hauling chocolate. Come on, man. I'm gonna wait for him to be closer. Because otherwise he's gonna eat one. No, 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 no. This is what I didn't want to happen. Come on, go up, go up. Yeah, alright, that's good. Uh, we have to remind them that some chocolate is closer. I mean, I'm sure there's a mod that uh, makes the AI check on a bigger range. But right now it's a bit stupid, because they'll just abandon something that's slightly out of range. Alright, Luna is back on her stone cutting, but... Nah, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna keep her doing that. Ooh, now we've got rice coming up. That's awesome. Which is going to be much more than enough for Jesse to make some very nice meals. We already have some. We're almost full in nice meals too. That's awesome. And that's what I that's why I love rice. Because it grows super fast. What? He just he ate raw Did he? Did he just eat raw rice? Because that's just bad, man. Alright, so we're we're gonna need a machining table as soon as this defense deck is done. Because uh, we're gonna need to destroy those corpses. We have way too much. And that's just resources waiting to be taken, I guess. There's still a few things here, I'm gonna hold those things, and this too. Alright, well, things are looking up. Uh, we're gonna wait before we destroy our wind turbines. Um, the way I see it, wind turbines are some of the most useful um, electricity gathering method, because they always work all the time. I like uh, the geothermal also, geothermal generator, uh, but I, I think I'm pretty sure that enemies tend to aim for those quickly and they're gonna leave those uh, around for a little bit more. And he's cold and tired and depressive and well why don't you go and sleep, you know? Nobody's forcing you to play those games. All right, so we are, why is he not hauling those? Fire them, come on, man. You're better than this. You're not Leah. All right, um, we actually have a ton of rice. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them to stop sowing. So basically once these plants are done growing and they're harvested, they will not um, sow more because we don't actually need any more for now. And what we might actually do is put some heal roots instead. And I guess, I don't know if they can... Oh, wait. Hey, prosthesis trainer, we don't need that. So, growing. Who has good growing? So we've got 10, 6, 5, 5. All right. So they are... Uh, Clea and Valdez, who are taking care of our sewing, are not uh, skilled enough to create heal roots. What that means is I'm gonna wait until we put some more. Because I don't want uh, Luna to take care of this, because I want her to take care of the stone cutting. Which is, she's doing an amazing job at it too. That's awesome. Like, we're starting to have a lot of stuff. And since Firedem is almost up, what I'm gonna ask him is to uh, take care of our uh, freezer. So this is gonna be extremely bad for the freezer, but it's gonna be better in the long run, so... Nope. So it's actually going to open to the outside, so I'm not gonna do that. I'd rather have it be too hot than too cold on the other room. There we go. Now hold the wood, please. Right. As soon as he hold the rest. Oh, come on. All right. Now we're building. And with this, we'll have some very good. Uh, forget this. I have, I uh, will have some very good uh, freezer. They'll be impenetrable from attacks. Or fire, I guess. Yeah, those are looking pretty nice. During that time, Valdez and Kadia keep on uh, building. Oh shit! See, those grew in like two days. That's awesome. Luna keeps on stone cutting. Jesse keeps on feeding us. As soon as she's done, she's gonna start researching. That's awesome. We're almost done with the defense tech. I think the defense tech doesn't give us much. What it does is another prosthesis trader. <laughs> um, what this does is it's going to open up some more uh, researches and. With that, we'll be able to actually build some actual turrets. And... Yes. It's indoors, but it's cold. It's gonna grow back. Oh no, we don't... We remove the uh, heaters. We're gonna put back two. Case. Alright, then, what are you doing? We're hauling. That's good. We're gonna need that in the future. Kadia is hauling steel to the heaters, that's good. Valdez is doing the same thing, perfect. Which means Firedam is gonna eat and then he'll build. So this is... we removed one of them. Ooh, all right. So this allows us to build Greydale weapons. All right. Greydale. Well, it's probably somewhere in there, but... Anyway, for now, it's not necessary. What we need... I think we need the multi-analyzer -anal first to have machining. And make sure... Yeah, because it's not here. Machining. Astro science. Machining. There it is. 
So we need smithing actually. So let's go with smithing. And Jesse, do not haul. Go do your thing. Alright, well I think we've found some uh, pretty good um how do you how do you say some good day-to-day -day, um actions like we've got something going on that's regular i guess is the word which means that we can't wait until something comes to fuck it up <laughs> uh do, did we get some new oh we did we did get some more um Uh, sentries. Well, those are are not sentries. They are uh, machine gun net nests. So this is a medium machine gun, and this is AGS. Oh, that's a grenade launcher. Oh, that's that's dangerous. And this is a heavy mach machine gun. And the heavy machine gun requires more steel, of course, because that's how things work. Yeah, so, so this is basically an improvement on the gun complex, I guess. We're going to build one here. Yeah, this is going to take care of the protection of all of this side. But, of course, we do not have enough steel, which we used most of our steel in building those um, heaters. Which is kind of more useful, I guess, for now. So we're going to have to mine some more where is steel oh, this is pretty far but, yeah, even then it's not oh there it is uh, this is yeah this is far oh this one is a little bit less far so it's gonna be easier to get yeah there's some more here some more here there's actually quite a lot here. You can see the difference uh, in the color of the ores. So this is, this here is plasteel. This is, this here is steel. This here is gold or ceramite. I guess they look a bit the same. More steel. And this is a dimension. Ooh, it's like Wolverine right there. Oh. Oh, wait, we got some here. That's even better. Much closer. He's gonna go up before he goes down. And... No, yeah, alright. <laughs> I thought maybe I was wrong, but no, I'm right for now. Uh, prestigious trader left, but, you know, that's the life of a prestigious trader. You come and go. Wait, what? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, I don't need to construct anymore. I want you to mine. Yeah. We don't actually need a heater for now. Oh. Wait, there's two of them. We don't need a third. Oops. Kadia, <laughs> uh, what is she doing? Oh, all right. That's good. That's good. We want that. Uh, let's see if there's something we missed. Yes, there was one thing. So that's probably a corpse uh, laying around. There's some bunny rabbits. Go fire them. Yeah, so that's another doe. Wait, where is it? It's here. Alright, that died. And... This is the timber wolf that attacked it. But since the timber wolf ate, then they won't attack Lydia. I hope. Just wandering, wandering. Yeah, he doesn't care. All right, that's good. That's good. That's what we want. I have to kill those two wolves though, because they're going to come closer and closer until we don't have an, uh, we don't have a choice all right it's almost done we have uh, probably we'll have around 700 steel maybe a little bit more and 
We're almost done with this. I mean, Valdez is not gonna go there. All right, that's cool. That's cool. One, one. I don't want him to come back until he's done. All right. Because at some point it's like, ugh, I don't want you to come back. No, 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 no. As I said, he's he's doing it fast enough that it's all right to wait on sleep. And you are actually gonna haul and not just bring stuff to the heavy machine gun. An eclipse? Well, that means it's gonna be nighttime uh, during the day. And that's why we do not build solar power. Alright, and now we have enough resources to complete our heavy machine gun nest. Tomorrow. Alright, so now that we're building defenses, I think we'll have to start thinking about uh, getting a bigger house. And the way we think about that is by wondering, what do we need? We need better rooms, because right now this is not very good. We've got a good prison barracks going on. <clears throat> this might be a medical facility. I want things to be close to the kitchen. Oh, and we're going to need the pleasure room, as I mentioned before. So the pleasure room is actually going... Oh, shit. There's Jesse has a lover and the colonists are coming. Patrol officer Greek. Greek. What a strange name. Alright. He wants to sleep with Jesse. Well I, I understand that. Jesse doesn't give a fuck though. Um but I don't know if I'll be able to convince him to join us. Also you know, we're gonna see if he's just as bad as I think he is. No, he's incapable of none, actually. He's terrible at shooting, but it doesn't mean he's bad at it. He's, he can't do it, I mean. He might be able to um, use the heavy machine gun. And I don't want you to go do that. I want you to build this first. Just in case, uh, I don't want to use it, but in case we need it, it's going to be useful to have it. And Luna, as uh, always, is keeping up the good work. And now that she's done, she is going to go and trade with... With? Wait, where is he? Where's the trader? Oh, are these just visitors? Ah! Well, nobody cares then. He's not gonna join us, he's just a visitor. Oh no, there's Lane. Ooh, ooh, but look at this. There is this um, wolf that's hunting one of the... All right, well, we're gonna hunt him down and Luna is going to go and talk with Lane. No, th these are traitors. We, f we finished smithing, which means we can now do the machining, which is awesome. Jesse, do not haul, keep on researching. Alright, yeah! So we could buy some animals, but that's mostly, mostly useless for now. We could sell some meals if we need money. We could sell the chocolate, that'd be good. Uh, but what can we actually buy that's useful? You see all the meat we currently have? That's ridiculous. Meal for meals for days, man. We could buy some components, yeah. Because we, we don't have much anymore. We're gonna sell the hides that we do not use. Uh, do we need more medicine? I don't think so. Not for now. Oh, we need steel though. We could buy all the steel they have. We don't need plasteel for now. Marble blocks, slate blocks, granite blocks. Let's keep it there. Wood, we all we have all the wood we need. 
Don't need the police hat. Uh, but we could use the police uniform, though. Because uh, I think one of our colonists is cold. Yep, that's what we'll do. And Duna will haul a little bit. Uh, we couldn't buy Greek, so he's actually a not a slave. So he's just gonna be there. Uh, the only thing that's gonna do is wait. I for an attack. What? Oh, that's oh, the fire them hauling. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Um, yeah. So once they leave, it's never gonna have any kind of impact on Jesse's mood. So, this is pretty good. Uh, Fire Emblem's gonna go dig the other steel we found. That's cool. Careful of the mad squirrels of the area. I think, you know what? I think that's good for now. Uh, we're gonna leave this here. Sadly, this I think this is the first episode where we haven't grown the base. So, you know, it's a first, I guess. Let's try not to <laughs> let that happen too often. And we could use some walls here. You know, just close this area. Anyway, we'll think about it some other time. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as I did uh, enjoy making it. If you have any questions or comments or literally anything you'd like to talk about, please feel free to let me know. And while we wait for the next episode, I hope you'll have a good time.